what is up guys Zam for the Zam Madden YouTube channel in today's video we're going to show you guys how to create different blitz fronts without actually having to manually move players by using an audible trick but before we do that guys please do me a favor hit that subscribe button also make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the uploads coming your way here on the Zam Madden YouTube channel if you guys want to watch me play Madden 20 live you guys can find me on my twitch channel twitch.tv slash Zam Madden the link is below in the description and I do have exclusive subscriber only content for my twitch prime and tier one subscribers my tier two subscribers will get my washington redskins hot route master offense on top of those sub tips that go out each and every friday okay guys without further ado let's talk about today's video we are going to be using an audible trick that works between different formations i know in the past i've kind of shown a tip where you call a play in a formation and then audible to a different play to make the second play look the same as the first play but this trick actually transcends formations as well. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you an example of something that I might do if I run, really wanted to get aggressive and kind of guarantee a, a safety blitz pressure out of 3-4 bear. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing off of a blitz setup that I use to bring pressure in 3-4 bear. So what I'm going to do is start off by just kind of showing us a very, very simple edge pressure that I, I will use. That's just basically 3-4 bear, cover 2 invert, base align, crash my line to the side with the two linebackers on the line, and then I will blitz the edge player and then QB contain. And then I'll just kind of stand right here. Now, if they're just blocking, you know, five, this is a simple overload, very, very simple overload. You're going to get that free guaranteed edge pressure in for a sack, right? But once they start to block the tight end, obviously that's going to stop happening for you. So in this example, I'll just block the tight end. I'm going to go ahead and do that same setup baseline, crash my line to the right, blitz the right of screen linebacker, QB contain, and now with that, uh, that tight end blocking, he should at least try to block and put hands on Khalil Mack. Now, obviously, he's in a contain, which allows them to, you know, have time to deliver a pass. So maybe you have thought, okay, I want to go ahead and guarantee extra overload without compromising blitzing off the left side, because sometimes there are setups where it's like, okay, well, if they're blocking the right, I'll just send it an extra guy off the left, and it'll guarantee the pressure. But maybe you want that coverage on the left. So you go ahead and you try to set up something like this, where you do your base align, you crash your line to the right, you go ahead and blitz the right of screen linebacker, QB contain, and then maybe to guarantee that pressure, you go ahead and take this guy and you move him down here, you blitz him off the edge, and you just wanna guarantee that pressure. And now you're bringing this guy down into the box. Your coverage on the left is still the same, but you're just trying to, you know, guarantee that pressure. So, you know, now they, uh, let me go ahead and block the tight end. They snap the ball, and you're still trying to get that edge pressure right there. We got nano detected, but you can kind of see what I'm talking about, right? Um, we're, we're trying to bring that extra rusher to free up someone else, but we actually got Nano detected on that play. There is an audible trick that we've shown here before on the channel where you can make a play look like another play within the same formation, but this trick also applies to other formations. So let's go ahead and show you what I mean. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to set, uh, I'm just going to call whatever I want as an audible out of the 3-4 even. I'm going to break the huddle in strong safety Sam 3. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to audible into another play in the 3-4 even. So let's say you want to run a safety blitz, right? But you want to actually bluff it. Now, all you would do after that safety walks down to the edge is just call whatever you want. Just call like cover three. You see how he stays in that spot? Now, obviously, it's a weird coverage. He's rotating to a weird spot. But I could audible to any other play I want. You see that you got both safeties down. I could audible right there. If you audible into a cover zero, he will go back to his original spot. Uh, but in general, when you run this play... What ends up happening is that safety walks down and you can audible to pretty much anything but a cover zero blitz and he'll stay put. This tip also applies to changing formations. So let me go ahead and respot the ball here. And we're going to do the exact same thing that I wanted to do in the 3-4 bear, but we're not going to actually have to move that safety. So he walks down to the edge. We audible into the 3-4 bear, do our setup base align, crash our line to the right, QB contain, blitz the right screen linebacker. Now all you have to do is an extra step is blitz that guy off the edge. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and just stack him a little bit, make sure that he's in tight. You want to try to guarantee that pressure as much as possible. But now without having to do the extra step of sliding that player out to the edge, clicking onto the free safety and sliding him down into the box, you've set up the same defense without, you know, taking nearly as much time. So now you see here when, when they go to block that tight end or whatever, you know, you can dial up whatever you want. I'm just kind of ad-libbing here on the fly, but you're going to be able to see that, you you know, you guarantee that pressure off the edge by calling that. You know, honestly, that first example with the 3-4 bear where I walked him down manually, it didn't even come in. But doing this audible trick from even to bear allowed us to basically walk that guy down the edge man without manually doing it. And then we can set up our, our blitz the exact same way 
uh, and we're good to go. So now when they go to block that tight end on that side, you can still guarantee that simple overload pressure uh, off that right edge. So you see right here, they go to that. You're bringing the pressure off the edge. You saw how we got a little bit nano detected, but the guy came in free off the left like we saw in the 3-4 pair example. So now if they're just blocking a tight end on you, you've got a way to guarantee that pressure and put the odds back in your favor. Now the alternative obviously is, you know, setting up uh, an overload pressure out of bear by just blitzing off the left side. But like I said, if they're attacking the left side of the field and blocking on the right, you want to make sure you have your zones over there and you're not blitzing and leaving holes in the defense. So this is another thing that you could do uh, to kind of, you know, mix up your coverages a little bit. Now, also keep in mind, guys, that we we broke down a really unique um, tip out of the 3-4 even not too long ago on the channel where we showed you how to get different defensive adjustments on the field by using a package in the 3-4 even and then audibling out of the 3-4 even into the 3-4 odd. You can take that tip as well and apply those same coverage principles to the bear. I'm gonna go ahead and link that video in the description below. But that is today's video, guys. I know that that wasn't you know, a crazy little um, you know, muddy blitz setup that you can go to at any time, but it is more conceptual. Um, this is something that you can do from any formation and audible into any other formation. So let's say for instance, we've got two, four, five, and uh, we've also got three, three, five wide, right? So let's say that you wanted to call, uh, let me try to figure out a blitz where the safety walks down outside dog three as an example. Um, you could go ahead and audible from two, four, five into three, three, five. The, the possibilities with this are pretty limitless. Uh, now this is again, something I don't personally run right here, but just trying to show you how this, this tactic applies to other formations. You see how that safety on the right walks down and now you've got kind of this um, eight across alignment, across the line of scrimmage. You can keep that alignment when you audible into three, three, five wide. Now you've got, you know, purple zones um, or you've got the potential for purple zones uh, on both sides. So now you've got, you know, this look where you're, you're now in a true cover three. Uh, you could actually blitz this guy off the edge and run this as a five man pressure and just kind of lurk the middle of the field as well. So you could use this just to kind of fortify run defense as well. This isn't necessarily just a, a blitz tip. In this situation where you're going to get these purple zones on the edge, you could really mess with people with this look here uh, and really keep them honest. So that is today's video, guys. If you guys liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, drop them below. Check out my Twitch channel. Once again, twitch.tv slash and I go live every single day at 2 p.m. Central Time. And we'll see you guys tomorrow with our next upload. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.